uh, I am Elizabeth Sherman from Total Health by Elizabeth. And uh, what I do is I help folks ease into healthier habits um, through uh, just making life a little bit easier um, and making health choices a little bit easier. And today I have my two friends, Sonia and Marco, Hi. who you may have met um, in my guacamole episode uh, where uh, we made guacamole and what they do is they are caterers, but they also do cooking classes here in Puerto Morelos. So um, we got such a phenomenal response from our last from our last presentation that we wanted to do one from popular demand. So many people asked for it for margaritas. Awesome. So let's talk about margaritas. It's Friday. It's 4.30. It's happy hour. This is it's happy, happy hour. hour. <laughs> this is the time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so um, what do we have for uh, ingredients? What okay. are we doing? Okay, in this case, we use the tequila. Okay. Okay, we have different brands of the tequila. I, I love it, the Jose Cuervo Tradicional. Okay. This is a good brand. This is not to be confused with Jose Cuervo. Especial. Especial. Oh, just take care, please. It's please. very, very common, especially in the States here too, and it is no good. So don't use that. Don't do not do that. And Marco, he thought about if we should turn the, the labels around here. We're not selling you on any particular one. <laughs> We're not getting kickback from anybody. This just happened to be a selection of what we had at home, so we thought we'd bring some different ones. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about tequila a little bit before we start making our margaritas. Um, so I really know very little about tequila. I know that it comes from a specific region in Mexico. Um, I know that it's made from the agave plant. Um, other than that, I really don't know a lot. Okay, the tequila is made in the Guadalajara, mm -hmm. uh, in Jalisco. Jalisco. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the origin. The, in this case, it is made in another tequila, in another country, or in another place. Don't receive the name for the tequila. It's like champagne. It's right. like the champagne. It's right. like a, uh, for another brands too. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is. Similar to. Okay, and so other regions, they are called mezcal, right? The mm. same? It's the same, it's the same, same plant. Okay, but it's a different process? But it's yes. a different process. Okay. And we were um, looking some stuff up. I found this really, again, I'm not getting paid for it <laughs> at all. I found this page called tequila.net, and it was super helpful. So okay. if you have questions about your um, the different kinds of tequila and the different processes, okay. I would I would check it out. Okay. But one thing that I read on there was that in 2006 they passed they passed a bunch of um, laws about tequila. So now there are you need to make sure that your tequila says 100% agave um, because if not, it could actually come from even another country. Oh. So okay. it's legal for them to produce it elsewhere and call it tequila now. Okay. So, but um, you want it, but it's not going to be the hundred percent. Oh, also sometimes have the name for destilado of the tequila, but don't have the name tequila. Got okay, it. destilado de agave. Okay. That's it. So, um, and, then, and so I know that also their tequilas come in different colors. Yeah. So you get really dark amber to clear. Um, is there a better type that we're using for our margarita? Okay, it depends whether you want to do, it depends for the juice, okay? okay. Is it clear? It's pure. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. we, we have a different names. It's a blanco, silver, plata, plata. Mm -hmm. platinum. <laughs> And it's all for the clear Latino. tequilas. This is the clear, yeah. the clear okay. tequila that the process is made the tequila and immediately you need to to drink. You, so, you really can use. So the white tequila is made for, um, it's in stainless steel casks instead of 
wood. Oh, okay. And so you get more of that pure agave flavor. Got it. And it's not usually um, kept um, for more than a month in the in the cask. Okay. So it's a very pure. A lot of purists like it because it's you get the real agave flavor without any wood or um, other flavors. The one thing I do know about alcohols in general is that the darker the color of the alcohol generally the more of a hangover you're going to have. So the clearer the um, tequilas or just alcohols in general, the mm -hmm. less you'll have because I guess there's less, um, I don't know, uh, organic components. That's interesting. To yeah, I mean, I guess, does that make sense? Have you heard that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because <laughs> then after you've got your your white tequilas, then you go to your reposado, mm -hmm. which is a rested um, or you know slightly aged tequila. Okay. And they are light in color. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but beware! There's something in between that called gold tequila, <laughs> oro, and that is the stuff that is 51%. Um, it has to be a minimum of 51% to be. Um, able to still say tequila on it, but it's a, it's a Oro or a Hoven or a Mixto. Gold, Mixto. Gold. They add it with a sugar, flavor, color. Okay. Just take care because it's dangerous. And that's the okay. kind that you usually get at a bar. That's the kind because it's cheap. Got it. So that's the kind you'll find in restaurants and okay. bars usually. So today you guys were adamant that you do not want to use cheap tequila no. in your margaritas. No. But I've also heard you don't want to use really expensive stuff either because that's a waste, right? Right. Right. Um, oh, and viewers, don't forget that if you have questions, feel free to type them in at any point. Um, I have something right here. I have my laptop right here, and I can um, take questions. So if you have anything, don't forget to answer or type them in. All right. So, yeah, we don't want to use cheap tequila. We want to use something decent, but not too expensive, right? Yeah. Okay. The difference. This is the reposado. The reposado is uh, the age of the one year, uh, one year and three years. Okay. okay this is a good, that is not expensive. Okay. But in this case, if you use the expensive, okay. I think that is better. It's uh -huh. a waste. This is a waste. It's a waste. Right. Because you're just going to be covering up the flavor of that tequila yeah. with yeah. the he lime and the sugar. Yeah. And he said it's like drinking Remy Martin and Coke. Or something. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a really fine, complex um, flavor that you miss out on when you add stuff to it. And also, I just wanted to point out the bad tequila. Here's a, a destilado, like a distilled agave distillment. Sorry, my English is <laughs> failing me terribly. Um, anyway, it's 28%, uh, so that's about 10% less of the alcohol content. And this is the stuff that'll give you a headache. Even though it's light, I bet you it gives you a headache. Yeah. So you don't want to use that kind of stuff. It's very cheap, but you know, just, it might taste good, but you're going to be sad the next day. And then, um, I, this is uh, a <laughs> thermo margarita mix, which we do not recommend using. Um, it was a, a gift. Um, and so a lot of people will ask us sometimes, um, we also do shopping for uh, tourists coming in and they'll ask for margarita mix. I was like, oh. We usually offer to sell them some of Marco's margarita mix because you will see um, it is, this stuff is uh, water, sugar, citrus acid, natural and artificial flavor, sodium, sodium fluoride, potassium fluoride, Arabic gum, and artificial colors. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, jammy, jammy. I <laughs> want to be healthy. No, he well, and know. so you want to be healthy when you're drinking your margarita. Exactly. 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 <laughs> we, go, we go for the, we're health nuts. Okay. Okay. One ingredient. Okay. Tequila. Okay. So, and then, um, so yeah, let's talk about alcohol for a, a little bit longer. Sorry, guys. We're going to get to this. Actually, so why don't you start making and I'll, I'll talk about uh, how much are we putting in? Okay. In this case, I use the, this container. Okay. This is the pitcher for eight people. Eight people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And let's start with. Fresh. So how many 
many limes is that, hun? Limes. Limes. Okay. But because in Mexico we have the two limes, two right. kinds of the limes. The, the first is a tiny. Yeah. The, the uh, key limes. Key limes. And this is the... Persian. Persian limes. Oh. Which is what we see a lot in the States. Right. right. Acid. Uh, some... Mm, it's sweet, it's but it's, sweet, but it's, it's not as nervous. acidic as the key limes, and it tastes different than the key limes. Mm -hmm. Key limes great for pie, but not so much great for margaritas. What I love is that they brought this margarita. Oh, this yeah. Oh, this is yeah. Marco. We can market <laughs> this. This is Marco. Look at this, and we'll be millionaires. If you make a lot of mar our margaritas, they've like marked every I, everything on here. Of This is the lime for limes, and this is the lime for syrup. This is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so how much is that? 200 milliliters. This is like to a eight ounces. Eight ounces. Okay. okay. So, um, it, eight ounces is a cup. Yeah. Okay. How did you squeeze all those limes, Chef Marco? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Chef Marco, okay. tell us. Sometimes you, 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 you made the margarita for some reason. I yourself. haven't even had a margarita yet, can you believe it? <laughs> I know. Use your hand or use the, the mechanic. Yeah, you got your use, lime squeezer that you can do squeezer. if you're real. But for me, I use the juicer. So okay, just, so you just like yeah, and that's just okay. a regular citrus juicer. My mom used to have one of these as a kid. Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's good for everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what's next? Next. Simple syrup. Simple syrup. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, simple syrup when you make it at home is going to be one part sugar with one part water, water. right? Yeah. yeah, and then you just. Put that on the stove top and wait until it dissolves. Yeah. Now, why, Chef Marco, yep. are we using simple syrup and not just sugar? Okay. In this case, this presentation, this is a combination, this is the perfect combination, the, the sugar and water, mm -hmm. okay, this is the balance. Sometimes if you try to make it in the house yourself, it's, it's consistent. This is, this, is, this, is, this is the consistent. Oh, okay. Okay. And then, um, what about agave? Have you ever used agave? No, no. I mean, okay. honestly, okay. I, at least in with my family, I think we use more agave <laughs> in the States. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting. The reason I bring it up is because agave, for a while, was really popular for health. And I was even on the agave train, um, you know, telling people it was so much healthier than sugar and honey and then all of a sudden like the tides turned yeah. as everything does as in everything health does. Yeah. and um everyone like shunned it saying that it was no better than high fructose corn syrup hmm. um and i think i really don't yeah. know um but uh yeah so it's just kind of interesting that this thing that was the darling of health for a while then all of a sudden became like cast. I know, I know. So um, anyway, that's the only reason why I asked about agave. I like I like agave, but I don't know if it would taste good in this. I like it, and I use it in salad dressings. Yeah, I put it. What on I liked yogurt. about it was that it was kind of like honey, but it didn't give you that. You know how sometimes honey is very strong yeah. Yeah. in its flavor, and it depends on where you get right. your honey from, whether it's like orange blossom or clover mm -hmm. or whatever. And so it, it was like honey, but it didn't give that strong flavor. But. Yeah. Okay. Try it the next to. Uh, okay. Uh, we try it the, the, the portion. So then, uh, would you do just some agave and then add water to that? How would you balance that then? Yeah, I would think you'd probably need to um, thin it okay. with water. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's not talk about hypotheticals now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you got me thinking with your question about Sorry. That, about um, the possibility of using some other kind of sugar like um, mm -hmm. stevia mm -hmm. is really popular right now. Yeah. I myself don't like the way it tastes, but I have a lot of friends that are into it. And well, you know, maybe you can make a simple... If yeah. you find that stevia is bitter, uh -huh. it just means that you've added too much. Okay. So you really need just a very little bit 
Um, and so for baking and things like that, it really doesn't have the bulk that you would need. Um, so in this case, again, yeah. you would need to use a little bit of agave, or I'm sorry, uh, stevia, in like a lot more water to create the bulk that you wanted right. to. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm so kind of at the school of I'd rather have less and have it real yeah. than probably mm -hmm. try and make it. Yeah. Stevia is nice because it doesn't have any calories to it and it um, doesn't raise your blood sugar. Uh, which actually brings me uh, to a point about alcohol. A lot of people think that alcohol is sugar. Like I hear that all the time. Like, okay. oh, there's so much sugar in alcohol. And for spirits, there's no sugar in alcohol. Um, alcohol is made from sugar and starches, yeah. but it doesn't raise your blood sugar. When they go through the fermentation process, it actually changes the molecule and um, it is not sugar anymore. Um, so, yeah, that's a myth. So there we are. Can, we can we can just be guilt free and drink our. <laughs> well, no. I mean, so okay, when, when they cool. change the when it changes the process, um, then one gram of so one gram of carbohydrate, which is what sugar is, is four calories. When they can when they make alcohol one gram of alcohol is actually seven calories, so it almost doubles. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing to think about is, and thank you for bringing, segueing me into this, is that um, alcohol is actually a poison. So we cannot metabolize it. I know it's a tasty poison. Um, and women actually do not have a specific enzyme needed to break down the alcohol that men do. So a 150 pound woman will become more intoxicated with the same alcohol that a 150 pound man would be taking in that same amount. Um, and then also, because we can't metabolize that alcohol, then what happens is the body needs to burn that alcohol off and we, um, whatever we take in with the alcohol, so the, the simple syrup, the sugar, or the chips and guacamole, mm -hmm. um, our body actually shuttles that into fat storage. Mm. Shush. But what if you go salsa dancing? What if you go salsa dancing? Well, then you're burning, the yeah, so then you're burning your, um, your alcohol off. Yes. And so That's then the it's, it's, it's salsa off. dancing. Yes, definitely. All right, so I totally derailed. Where are we now? Okay. <laughs> I yeah. add the control. Okay. Yes. Control is a similar like a triple sec. The difference is the 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 portion. The, the, concentration, the concentration of the, the citrus, the citrus is stronger. Oh, alcohol. Okay. It's also about twice as alcoholic as triple sec. Oh. Um. What is it? it has Forty. I, we well, don't have triple 41. sec, but we have the other. We have like coffee liqueur. It is forty percent. Yeah. So it's forty percent, and I think all the ones I looked at were nineteen point five percent. So it's stronger and it's stronger in that way too. Okay. Um, but it is the like the classic margarita mix. Um, so I would have tried con control or triple sec. Is you, it is you can it, get it sweet? In now. Is that is it? sweet acid? Um, oh wow! Look at all that. <laughs> <laughs> Margarita contest. So and does that mean that you get to go to the next level of con contest? Do you get to go to like the whole Quintana Roo contest? I I, I wish that there was such a thing. I, I know he would win that as well. But he, his margaritas are really strong. But they're not just. There's a science to how strong they are. And then we put a lot of water in them. Water uh, ice in them, so it waters them down. So it's not like um, yeah, just strong to be strong. It actually tastes really yummy. <laughs> All right, how much was that, Contra? That's a... Is that two cups? Twelve, the sixteen. Sixteen ounces? ounces? So, okay, two cups. Okay. okay. The cups. Got it. Um, okay, alcohol. Wow, alcohol. more alcohol. Yeah. Happy, yeah. happy hour! Yeah. Happy Are hour. you making this along with us? Remember, ready? if you have any questions, go ahead and type them <laughs> into the comments. <laughs> 
So one of the pros to uh, alcohol is that alcohol is what's called a vasodilator, meaning that your, um, your veins will expand uh, when you are drinking alcohol. Um, and this can be good because alcohol is then good for your heart. It allows you, your heart to pump blood into, um, you know, your muscles and getting it into the rest of your body. However, if you find that when you're drinking alcohol that you get headaches, that could be a reason why, that the veins in your head are just expanding a little bit too much. Mm. So, oh wow, look at that, all the way to the top. <laughs> We can't add anything else. Yes. So I guess we're done? This is done. Okay. But what is the next step? What's the next step? Tell us. Okay. You like it brick in the rocks, on the frozen, salt on salty. Um, I prefer salt and on the rocks. And Us too. um blending on Facebook Live is the quickest way to get people to turn off. So <laughs> we, we have never we have never done blended margaritas with yep. anybody. Not that we wouldn't, that's what we want. <laughs> but really, um, I asked Marco, I said, why what's the deal? Why aren't they as good? And he pointed out that they have so much ice that there's just um, it's just more water. So it's gonna water down your drink more quickly. Um, and maybe you don't want that. Maybe your your margarita might not be as strong as Marco's, so it might not be as tasty. Mm. But but so here's what I do. Now you're probably gonna really dislike this. I'm sorry, Marco. Oh, but tell I me. find that um, after a night of drinking margaritas, it makes my stomach feel really sour. And I don't like the way it makes me feel. So what I do is I actually use mineral water it, and dilute it half and half. Like a spritzer. Like a spritzer. A margarita spritzer. And so it actually tastes really yummy to me. Um, it's a little bit lighter um, and it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't make me feel bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that since it's all natural, I mean super concentrated light <laughs> lime juice, like that could be yeah. the wrong way. Well, let's get three and taste them. Yeah. Yep. Do, do we need to stir it then? Do you want a spoon? Yeah, please. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's going to be like oh, all sorry, the alcohol floating on the top <laughs> and we're going to pass it on to you. So, um, I probably should have thought about that before. Here you go. <laughs> So, can you put the uh, recipe up on your? I can page? absolutely, yes. And we'll we'll do that too. I uh, I'm still figuring out how to do stuff um, with this Facebook Live, but we can get the recipe out there. So, so all you did was take a lime and just swirl it around. Yep. Okay, and then dip it in the salt. All right. Now this one is for this one. I'm gonna pretend my mom is here. Alice, okay. this is for you. It's purple. We both love purple. <laughs> so we're going to, I know that she's watching. I think she's watching anyway. And she loves a good margarita. So, um. Okay. And then for this one, do only half because I'll put my okay. uh, mineral water in it. Maybe. Yes. Huh? Because you need the yeah. more Thank ice. you. I need more ice. I know. Yeah. All right. All right, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. I love these glasses. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Tastes like summer. It's really yeah, good. It's good. <laughs> Even it's though it's really fall good. with everyone everybody. else. Yeah. Sorry, my friends. Sorry. <laughs> well, hopefully you've been making Cheers along you. with us. Um. And, and again, hopefully you made guacamole <laughs> that you learned how to make last time, and then you can enjoy your guacamole and your margarita. Yay. And Janalee says, I really want one. Salud. Salud, Salud. Janalee. Salud. And Marty and whoever else is watching. Okay, thanks for joining us. Um, I will have uh, Sonia and Marco's uh, recipe available for everyone. And, and I'll, I'll um, share it too. 
please feel free to, you know, write in any comments, share this, and we'd love to hear from you guys. Also, tell us, what else do you want us to make? Oh, yeah. yeah. We we're, want to know for few, I mean, future We have lots of ideas, but yeah. we can awesome. always use new ones. And Charlotte says that she's making some tonight. So, excellent. Have an amazing weekend, everyone, yes. and we Happy will see weekend. you soon. TGIF. <laughs> <laughs>